president. Somebody comes and says, God reveals that this person that will become. That is not prophecy. That is a game of probability. Out of three, one person must become. That's why you have different prophets in Nigeria. Somebody will say this one. Another person will say that one. Another person will say this one. At the end of the day, one person will be correct. It's a game of probability. I'm telling you now because there is too much confusion. It's the anointing. And whoever God anoints against all odds, the person must do what? Must become. Whether the person has structure or not. Whether the person they give shishi or not. And all those God even anointed, they know they give shishi. And I'm not saying this to campaign for anybody. I'm saying this with all sense of seriousness. We are too lousy. Christians are too lousy and too noisy. We are too lousy and too noisy Christians. Every minister wants to show himself. There is no God that has revealed to you who will be a president in 2023. God does not do that. Not except you are reading a different book. Apart from the Bible that we are reading. We are too lousy. We Christians. Lousy, noisy, petty. No thanks to the so-called men of God. What others will do quietly, planning, we will not. We will carry microphone and be talking nonsense. It's only in Christian-dominated areas that we hear men of God prophesying about who will be king, governor, or this or that. Our Muslim brothers, God bless them. In the north, elections take place. Do you hear imams prophesying that this person will be or not be? Do they not have people coming out to fill those positions? If they want to plan who to vote, they will go and do their normal political calculation. We will not do political calculation. We will come out and carry microphone and be talking nonsense. God does not prophesy. Anybody who tells you, I know why I'm telling you this, because instead of you now deciding who to vote in conscience, one man of God that you like has prophesied that this is the person. Meanwhile, this is not the person that is in your mind to vote, but because he has said his prophecy, you now you are now afraid. Thinking that when you vote another person, you are going against God's candidate. Causing confusion everywhere. We will not plan. The same reason Christians cannot plan politically. It is the same reason we cannot plan spiritually. We are not coordinated. We are not one. It's only when there is an election you are beginning to come and talk and, and behave as if we are one. We can't even regulate ourselves. We can't even regulate who is qualified to own a church or not. We can't even regulate our doctrines. We are confusionists all over the place. But when it comes to politics, we we'll come and be showing ourselves the Muslims are more mature than us in many things. And shame to Christian ministers. Big shame. 